Here's a little Monday motivation for you on Tuesday. <laughs> I, more about that in a moment. But uh, I was uh, going to make this video yesterday and then something happened. And that's the something that is really motivating. And so I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. But yesterday I was going through and there's a specific story I want to tell you guys. And I'm going to save it for next week. But I was going through and looking at analytics because I look at analytics for everything. It's like, hey, is this strategy working? Is this thing working? Is this doing well? And something, I won't say odd, happened. But there was... Um, multiple major milestones in the analytics that I was just like, this is crazy. And I remember as I think back years and years, how I would send an email or make a phone call or write an article or whatever it was. And it seemed like no one was watching, no one was listening, no one was paying attention. The numbers were, I can't even call it a drip. The numbers were so bad. And it wasn't because I was doing anything wrong. I'm doing exactly what I'm doing today, except it was just taking time to gather an audience for people to find me, for people to actually start watching what I was doing and paying attention. And for me to do enough of the work, that's a big key, for me to do enough of the work to get out there in the market. And then you flash forward all these years later, and when I'm looking at the analytics, I'm like, wow, this is, this channel has 100,000 views on it and, you know, almost 2,000 subscribers. And, you know, this, you know, social media account has 16, 17,000 connections. And, you know, we're getting, you know, thousands of views every single day. And, um, you know, this account has this kind of stuff, it, you know, and the podcast has, you know, half a million downloads and all, all these different things. And it's like, I just stopped for a minute and was kind of marveling at like how far we've come and how I don't even think we've hit our tipping point yet, but how the tipping point we hit in 19 and 20 has just continued. Like we've been riding that wave and just how cool it is. And like when you hit it, it's awesome, but you never know where the tipping point is going to be. You never do. But if you keep chasing it, you hit this tipping point and all of a sudden the business goes from kind of trickling on like this to like that. Right. And we hit that several years ago and it's, and it's been amazing. And I know there's going to be another tipping point in the very, very near future because we're doing some really cool stuff. But just as I was reflecting on the numbers and everything, I was like, this is crazy. I hit, I hit a financial milestone that I, I don't think I've ever hit and just different things. And I was just, I was just excited and happy, right? And I wanted to share that with you. And as I was working on projects yesterday, this is the thing that happened that I wanted to tell you earlier in the story. Um, my daughter was like, hey, you know, it's about time to take me back to school and everything. And I, I always hate that. She comes home on the weekends. I always hate taking her back on Sunday or Monday. And um, I was like, okay. And then she peeked her head back in my office and she was like, do you want to do anything before, you know, you know, you take me back and I was like, I don't know. Is there something you want to do? And I didn't, I didn't know if she was asking to be polite or what the deal was. And then she left the room and she came back and she was just kind of like, I don't know. It's just kind of odd behavior for her to just come sit in the office and like, Hey, uh, she asked again, you want to, you want to go do something or whatever? I'm like, oh, I don't know. What, is there something you want to do? Oh no, no. I just, I was just checking, you know? And, and then she asked a third time. And when she asked the third time, I was like, you know, sitting here marveling at all these metrics and stuff like that. And we're in this really good position. Monday is kind of a work day for me. I'm going to just push this aside. I'm going to do whatever she wants to do. And so I wound up, um, she had to make a couple of stops in town. And uh, on the way back to school, as we're kind of rounding the curve and getting close to school, she was like, we're having a really good conversation. You just want to drive around? <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And, and so we, um, we were driving around. I was like, Hey, you want to go for a hike? And so we went up to the top of one of the mountains here and hiked around and kind of looked over the city. And she was like, you want to just sit here and talk for a while? And we just talked and it wasn't anything important. There was nothing important that we talked about. We just hung out. And as it started to get cold and we, uh, we went down the mountain, I was like, you know, you want me to take you back to school or what do you want to do? Cause there was still 
couple hours before she had um, she was doing a homework meeting with a friend and uh, she was like, yeah, we can we can head back. And so we headed back to school and she was like, you want to come have dinner with me? <laughs> it was like she just didn't want me to leave. And again, there was never anything super important. She just she was enjoying my company and we hung out. And the next thing I know, her friends joined us. We hung out till probably eight, eight thirty hanging out with her friends, laughing, joking, talking, telling stories. And there was, again, there was never anything super important, but it was just so fun. And that was the highlight of my day. That was the highlight of my day. When I look at all of the metrics and all that kind of stuff, it just faded away and I forgot about it. It literally just faded away and I forgot about it. And, and that's the importance there that I really wanted to share. The important thing of, you know, you can do all this stuff, you can make all this money, you can help all these clients. But at the end of the day, it's spending time with your family that matters most. And I got a huge dose of that yesterday, unexpectedly from my daughter, who's, you know, she's almost 19, she'll be 19 in a couple of weeks. And um, instead of wanting dad to drop her off and get out of her hair, she's like, come to dinner with me in the dining hall at school you know, and in front of thousands of other college kids and hang out and laugh and joke and meet my friends and we'll all talk and um, she has some really good friends. And so that's really awesome. But highlight of my day, you know, metrics were nice, very proud of the metrics. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not doing it for metrics. I'm doing it to have moments like that where I can push away from my desk and say, let's go do whatever you want to do. Let's go hike the mountain. Let's go to the store, let's go, whatever it is you want to do. Cause my, my kids don't have expensive taste or anything like that, but you know, it's just being able to, yeah. You know, in fact, she's like, Hey, let's go to Walmart and walk around you know, and shop, you know, that kind of thing. But being able to just spend time with your family at will, that's why I build the business that I'm building. That's why you should build a business, you know, a business that supports you when you need it to so that you can do the things that are important to you. Hope you have a great week.